Governor Hogan, the world is watching Baltimore, and I'm going to give them something to see. We're going to talk about your judicial accountability bill. Judge Cox, Judge Souter, Judge Janae, Judge Papaya, and Baltimore County. Accountability for the judges. I applied for Martin Luther King's job on February the 6th, 2011. Y'all locked me up and charged me with terrorism. Y'all charged me with terrorism three times in two states. I never got a trial. I never got a trial. It's making a movie about Baltimore from 2006 to now. Get Shorty. I got 14 different movies I was making about Baltimore. And I just did it in the name of Martin Luther King. We ain't got no more black leadership like that. All right. That's the Weavers. I got the Weaver Award for 2022, 2021. I'm also on the Aspen Institute board. We talking about the Supreme Court in 2022. Governor Hogan, you got paperwork for me to go to the Supreme Court because I was kidnapped by the state. I am Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? You go straight to President Biden. President Biden got this. President Bush. I was making a movie called Letters to My President. Luke Russert. Tim Russert. His son, Luke Russert, played baseball. They came down to St. Paul's and played. That's why I met Luke Russert. That's why I got the idea of making a movie, Letters to My President. So we're going to go through all the letters I sent President Bush, President Obama, President Trump, and the Supreme Court Chief Justice Roberts. Because we're talking about the new face of old Jim Crow. That's the Department of Justice, Eric Barron. I got videotape phone calls. I got videos. I got videos. Eric Barron, <clears throat> Eric Holder, Loretta Lynn, Patrick Fitzgerald. Yeah. The Department of Justice, Tom Perez, Brian Frost. That's 2016. We're talking about the disbarment of Scott Schellenberger in 2022. All right. And we're going to go to the Supreme Court with this. We're going to go to the Supreme Court with this. That's Governor Schaefer. And we're going to follow the money. Peter Frankot got all this. Everything I'm showing you, Peter Frankot got. The Board of Elections is going to get it. I'm getting ready to send this to the Board of Elections. A copy of this to the Board of Elections. We talking about racism in your courts. Congressman Cummings, the Minority Report, Senator Cardin, Sheriff Fisher, Snowden, Mr. McGee, Judge Bell. Time to tell the truth. Racism in the judicial system. And I use the toilet to do it. All right. Toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. Martin Luther King, public accommodations. That's Congressman Cummings and Stephanie Rollins Blake. Sheila Dixon, Stephanie Rollins Blake. Jack Young. Yeah, all of y'all participated in this. The city faces hard choices. That's me. That's when you came in my house and put guns to my head. That's me. When I got out of, when I did the party for the judges, the female black judges in Baltimore, that's their house off of Charles Street. I cater for y'all. I work for No Boundaries. Ray Kelly. All right. And right now we talking about God and justice. And they ain't going to be just us. The Trinity. Yeah. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I've been living in faith and I've been enjoying that favor. I got the idea of shitting on politicians from my son, Jarrell. See the map? That's South America. That's Brazil. Yeah, we're talking about the money from South America. Colombia, the war on drugs. So I put them toilets and I use them toilets. I use them toilets because them toilets are strong instruments of peace. When you wake up in the morning, you think about me. When you go to sleep, you think about me. Everybody that was involved in my illegal incarceration, man, potty training politicians, 2022. That's Ray Lewis and Shorty. We talking about race and racism. I protect Ray Lewis, protect the house. I protect the streets. 2022. Martin Luther King had a dream. We're going to take that dream to the Supreme Court. We're going to take that dream to the Supreme Court. Baltimore rewired. We're going to take Julian Jones and Councilman Quirk. Because I was kidnapped by the state. We're going to take everything that Adam May got. Because like I said, Mayor Pugh, Mayor Dixon, that's Get Shorty, 2006. That's the real news. 
told y'all I was making a movie, Arts and Promotion, and that's my producer, Rob Fix. A movie about being black in America, and this is the Department of Justice, Kapelhoff, Criminal Division, Rod Rosenstein, Paralegal, Gunther, that's the United States Department of Justice, U.S. Attorney General's Office. I am writing you in, to Dwayne Shorty Davis. That's Johnny Oleski asking for the Department of Justice to investigate. I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist. I went home on vacation, came back on probation. And these is the cases. I turned y'all in on January. See the date? January 2011. When I turned y'all in, you locked me up. Five days later. But like they said, put it in the book. ABC2, Doug Collins, Jane Miller, Barry Sims. This is a criminal breakdown of your criminal enterprise and the money you make off the prison industry. 2010, Dred Scott. I'm a free man in one state and a slave in another, but you a slave in, a, in America, period, because you black in America. Phony bomb threat. CBS, Fox 45, FBI. That's Scott Schellenberger. And that's me. I made a documentary. If you go to Sheila Dixon's page right now, it says evidence for federal trial. Evidence for a federal trial. Sheila Dixon is holding that on her page. Look at that video. Very, very clear. Racism in the 21st century. The new face of old Jim Crow. I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention. 